Now, when it comes to sales letter conversions, the top marketers watch their conversion rate very, very closely. They can tell you their conversion rate on pretty much any campaign and how well it's doing, how well it's doing for affiliates and joint venture partners, how well the conversion rate is for pay per click, and so on. Now, it's very, very important that you understand this figure because it's going to help you with your advertising, it's going to help you make the most of your money. Now, let's face it, sometime in our internet marketing career, most of us are likely to create some sales letters. We're going to write a sales letter, we're going to start selling our own products. So you're going to need this, okay? So this is one of the things that top marketers do that you can do too. Now, if you have a good conversion rate on your sales letter, then it's going to be a major influencer for joint venture partners and affiliates. So if you can turn around to your joint venture partners or your affiliates and say, I've got a sales letter that converts at 5%, they are going to you know, basically fight amongst themselves to get to promote your product. They are going to be desperate to promote something that sells that well. So it can help you not just obviously make money from organic traffic, but your affiliates and joint venture partners are going to be much happier to take part in the program and promote it for you. So and basically, I don't think I need to tell you that, that the higher your conversion rate, the more money you will earn from the product. So very, very important. It's important for affiliates, joint venture partners, and for your bottom line. Now, there's two ways for you to get a high sales letter conversion rate. The first way is you write great copy yourself. You may be able to do that. You may not. If not, then you need to go and learn how to do it. Um, if you can afford to do it, then hire yourself a great copywriter. Then be prepared to pay you know, a thousand dollars plus for a sales letter. If you want to hire one of the best copywriters there are, you're talking at twenty to thirty thousand dollars for a single sales letter. So, you know, you need to either do it yourself or have the money to hire somebody. You can get reasonable copy written for anywhere between sort of three hundred to a thousand dollars. It's reasonable. Um, great copy, as I said, it's going to cost a lot of money to get written. Now, a lot of people will struggle with writing copy. It's not natural to many of us. Unless we come from a sales background, it's not always easy to write good copy. So it is considered an art form. And honestly, if you can't afford to hire a great copywriter, then the best thing you can do is invest in some copywriting training programs and really get yourself up to speed with writing. If not fantastic copy, decent copy. You know, copy that will convert at 1% to 2% maybe you know that's good enough for now when it comes to improving the conversion rate of sales letter you need to change various components and see what effect they have on the conversion rate do they make the conversion rate better or do they make it worse it really really depends and the only way to do this is to test it so you can test things like different headline different sub headline different opening different PS's Test having a header graphic against no header graphic. Test the, the amount of white space at the top of a letter. All of that needs to be tested and much, much more. Now, this can get quite complex, and we're going to talk in the next video about ways of making it easier. But these are all the components you need to consider to change. You want to make one change at a time, and then you want somewhere between 100 and 500 visitors. Basically, the higher the better because that way it allows you to get a statistical significant sample which means that basically it's going to be accurate. What you need to do is for every single test you need to have the same figure. So if your first test you do uh, 300 visitors, every test you want roughly 300 visitors give or take a very small percentage and you work out the conversion rate for every single test. So each time you, you drive 300 visitors or 500 visitors, whatever it might be, you calculate the conversion rate for that number of visitors, no others, and that tells you whether your conversion rate has increased or decreased from the change that you've made. Now, if it's increased, you keep that change and make a different change or try and change it so it's even better. If it's decreased, you put it back to the one it was and change something else or make another change in an attempt to increase it. So you can see this could take you some time to do however it is very very worthwhile you doing so it's going to make you an awful lot of money so once you've made one change remember you make one change at a time once you've made the change if it improves it keep it or try and improve it further if it's worse 
try making a different change, try changing it again. It's basically, it's an iterative process. You're going to keep changing parts again and again and again. You're going to change little bits here, there and everywhere until you can't improve the conversion rate any further, until you got to the absolute top of the conversion rate. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you can't improve the conversion rate anymore that's fine. You may get to a point where you think, well, that's good enough. I can't be bothered spending any more time. That's fine. It's up to you, really, when you decide not to do it anymore. Now, when it comes to driving traffic to your website, you've got two choices when you're doing the testing, pay-per-click or organic traffic. And now, pay-per-click is obviously faster. You could possibly get your 500 visitors or whatever in a day. However, it's going to cost you money. Organic, obviously, is going to be slower and cheaper. So it's up to you. It depends upon your budget. There is no right or wrong answer. Whatever money you have or however you want to approach it, that's your choice. Pick either one of these. It doesn't matter which one it is. Now, some other tips that you can use to improve your conversion rate. Well, one of them is to offer a discount on an exit splash page. So have one of these pop-ups. You've seen the virtual assistants and all those things. They actually can work quite well. Um, and you can offer a discount there. Now, be aware that if you offer a discount there, that news information will get distributed. People will work it out. So only do that if you're happy to accept that lower price because a lot of cases you are going to get people who are going to um, you know, just leave your page and come back in order to get the discount. So be aware of that, please, that that's going to happen. So don't offer a discount if you're not happy to sell it at that price. Uh, another way to improve conversion rates is to capture leads. Either have a, a light box, a slide in, uh, another exit box, whatever it might be. Capture leads from your sales letter. Make sure, obviously, it captures the affiliate information or joint venture partner information as well for obvious reasons and uh, make sure you capture the leads and use those to um, obviously help yourself through with this. You know, once you've got the leads, you can then market to them and maybe set up a, a, a training course or something like that so that they, basically you can market the product to them and pre-sell them so that they, they will actually buy it from you. Now, the really good thing about this, of course, is increasing your conversion rate is going to increase your income before you get any other traffic. So if I've got, you know, um, I don't know, 100 visitors a day to my site and I'm earning some money from that, if I increase my conversion rate, then obviously I can make more sales without having any more traffic. If I increase the traffic as well, then that's just, you know, the cherry on top of the cake. It really, really is. You, you know, you can get even more income from it. So you've got to start simple by improving your conversion rate. Your conversion rate is going to increase your traffic and if, uh, you, your income. And if you keep doing your traffic generation, then you're going to find that your income is going to absolutely explode from that site. So remember, uh, this is very, very important. If you are marketing information products, higher conversion rates is going to make it much, much easier for you to get people promoting your product. If you can tell your affiliates or joint venture partners that, well, um, I have a 5% conversion rate in this sales letter, they will leap over themselves to promote it because a lot of sales letters may have half to 1%. So having a conversion rate like that means they're going to make five times as much money. So of course, they're going to be very, very interested. So you know, testing and tracking your conversion rate means that you can then go to, um, you know, go to the marketers and say to them, look, I've got this product, it's converting at this rate, and they're going to come to you and want to um, basically promote your product. So it's going to help you make even more money because you're going to get these bigger name marketers and uh, you know super affiliates and, and affiliates promoting your product. So it's going to be very, very beneficial to you. But remember, you need to know your sales letter conversion rate. You need to work on improving it. The more you improve your sales letter conversion, the better it's going to be for you because obviously that means more money into your pocket. So, you know, that's what you need to do. So we've got some tips here on how to improve your sales letter conversions. What we're going to do next is look at some software that's going to help make the whole process an awful lot easier for you.